Welcome to the Upkeep for Monday, June 20th, 2022. That's right. It's all of the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And coming to you live from a very sweaty studio. A lot of magic news for you this week. Starting yes, off with it is real warm in here. Very hot. <laughs> starting off with Double Masters 2022 previews officially underway. That's right. You can even check out ours tomorrow on our full-length podcast, Good Luck High Five. Yes. The release for Double Masters is July 8th. This is the set where you get two mythic rares or rares and two foils per pack. It's deci- it's designed to be drafted and you take two cards and pick one, pack one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's 332 cards total in this set. And we just learned this. It contains the first new to magic card ever printed in a master set. And that is Cryptic Spires. All the other cards in Double Masters 2022 are reprints except for Cryptic Spires. And this is a weird card, Megan. Yes, it's really cool. So this is a land that says, as you create your deck, circle two of the colors below. Wait, I write on it? I know. Cryptic Spires enters the battlefield. Tap, tap, add one mana of either of the circled colors. And of course, at the bottom, it has white, blue, black, red, green. Cool. Big two. Pretty cool because this set does allow you to do any of the 10 three color combinations. Whoa. So fixing, pretty important. So Cryptic Spire, is there, there's gonna be one of these in every single draft booster. So oh, don't worry, yeah. you're gonna have access to these cards and however many you draft, that's how many you can put in your deck, everybody. Nice. <laughs> and you can change the colors it taps for, too, between games if you're going to the pre-release and you're not really sure uh, on your mana base when you play your first game afterwards, you can adapt it, so don't worry. Nice. The archetypes for draft are white, uh, blue, white, black, flicker value, blue, black, red, graveyard, mid-range, black, red, green, jundam out, <laughs> red, green, white, heroic, aggro, Ooh, nice. green, white, blue, of course, is ramp, uh, white, black, and green is plus one, plus one counters. Blue, red, white is prowess. Gotta love some Jeskai oh, yeah. prowess action. Classic. Uh, black, green, blue, stock your graveyard. Green, blue, red, mid-range ramp. And red, white, black, sacrifice. So all of these, pretty straightforward. These are the color combinations you would think of associated with these abilities, yeah. which makes sense because they couldn't print any new cards. No, <laughs> they are, these are simply <laughs> them being the most them that they are. So there's something else cool that's debuting here with Double Masters 2022, and that is textured foils making their first appearance in this product. Textured foils, have you seen these yet? They're no. like foils, but they're they're printed. They've got like a textured pattern on them to give the illusion of movement when you kind of tilt it in the light. Wow, so this is happening on five different borderless mythics. One of them is Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Looks and they'll great. only appear in 3% of collector boosters. Yeah, so these wow. are pretty rare, pretty rare. All right, um, and just FYI, supply chain, stuff continues yeah. to happen and it means that the English collector boosters are limited in North America for the first one to two weeks. An update now on the Magic Online Championship. Season one has a winner. Congratulations to Will Kruger playing Titan Shift in the modern portion of the event and drafted Mono Green in Vintage Cube. Ooh, we know about both of those strategies. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Will won $20,000 and qualified for the first PT of 2023. Get so congratulations to Will. <laughs> Great work. The other decks in the modern portion of this tournament were four copies of Yorian elementals. Wow. That makes me very nervous. Yeah. Uh, two copies of Grixis Death Shadows and another copy of Titan Shift. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, another big piece of news. Oh, yeah. Magic 30 is a huge celebration heading to Vegas this October. Yeah. So we're celebrating Magic's 30th anniversary. It feels like we just celebrated the 25th anniversary. I know. I remember eating those <laughs> cupcakes. Oh, yeah. yeah. They'll probably have cupcakes at this. I hope so. If that's not incentive enough for you to come. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be October 28th through the 30th in Vegas, put on by the same people who put on packs, by the way. Wow. Which means that this is going to be a huge blowout. Yeah. Tickets go on sale next month, and they'll offer tickets to events that can be attended virtually. Oh, cool. Starting at $30, as well as tickets if you want to attend in person, starting at $75 for single day admission. And there are a ton of events at this thing, okay? So like modern tournament that's going to fa- feed into a top eight beta draft. Wow. A command zone play area with Jimmy and Josh as your overlords. <laughs> There's going to be Unfinity events hosted by Mark Rosewater. The world championship will be there. Nice. Parties. Lots of parties at 
that you can get yes. into, cosplayers, an exclusive secret layer, panels, mystery booster drafts, love those, and a lot more, including uh, an appearance by Richard Garfield, virtually. Oh. I was hoping he would come as a hologram, but it's probably just going to be a video. <laughs> yeah, probably. Pro I guess, probably. I guess who knows? I mean, who knows? Yeah. I don't know for sure. We're going to be there. Yes. Very exciting. Uh, we also learned that the first pro tour of 2023 is going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina in February. And if you want more details about this event and pro tours coming up next year, I assume as well, it's going to come next month as well as more updated ticketing information for Magic 30. And finally, just a few bits of arena news. Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate pre-orders begin this Thursday, wow. June 23rd. Uh, Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate, of course, includes cards from the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate set uh, from Adventures in the Forgot Forgotten Realms, rebalanced cards from both of those sets, and more. So the early access event for these begins on July 5th on Arena, and Sealed in Draft began on July 7th. Very exciting. Yeah, I'm super stoked for this set. Yeah. I mean, Streets of Nukapenna, you know, fun time, but I'm ready for something yes, new. very much same. That's all the magic news that you need for this week. Thank, thank you so much for tuning in. You can check out our full-length podcast called Good Luck High Five anywhere you get your podcasts, and you can support that show, this show, and all of the stuff that we make for your listening pleasure over at patreon.com slash glhfmagic. Good luck high five!